So the day that um, Tundi and Temba and the other one, a lot of journalists came. Mm. So you said it was pretty emotional. It was a very emotional day when we, we got the call in the morning and we came through. And when we got here, the place was crazy. There was just um, police and rangers and vets and journalists everywhere. It was a mad day. And, when, and what we saw was it was really sad because Temba was lying on his side. Um, and you could see he was in immense amounts of pain. And there, the rangers themselves, the people who work here, were in a lot. They were very stressed. They were very emotional. There was tears. And just by looking at how much pain Temba was in, it, it brought tears to my eyes. I was, in a very, I was also very emotional that day. I, I couldn't believe that anyone would actually torture and do that to an animal as, as um, sweet and, and, and loving as, as, what's the word, not loving, they're just so peaceful, such peaceful animals that someone would actually hurt them like that and it was a really a hectic day because there was a lot of crying there was a lot of emotion from the staff from the police from the vets um, and the vet on one of the vets on the scene was saying if Timber doesn't get up he's he's not going to make it and there was a, a lot of people praying that he'd um, pull through and then on the other side Tandy had gone into the bush and they weren't sure where she was at that point and she had had um, really bad injuries to her face it was actually worse than the the boys and no one thought she was going to pull through so it was a very stressful very emotional day have you been in other places with journalists where the journalists have all been crying none that i can really think of um it's very unusual that you'll find journalists upset about anything journalists are normally very hardcore um, but the journalists that day, they were very touched. I was very touched by what we'd seen. I mean, this defenseless, peaceful animal had been so badly, brutally attacked and lying on its side in so much pain. Um, so you were at the tsunami? Yes, I was. And, and it wasn't like this? It, it was a different situation. I was also, it was um, also quite a stressful situation and we were with lots of families who had um, lost loved ones. It was quite emotional, but not in the sense of, this was an emotional, quick motion reaction. That was more of a long term. This one was very quick because it's just something about animals that touches people, human beings, um, just defenseless animals that just, um, was so badly and brutally attacked and just the way he was suffering because you could see by the way he was lying and his bleeding and his horns had been um, hacked off and the vet was telling us that if he doesn't get up he's going to die and it, it was just a very emotional time for the journalists for the vet for the staff for everyone there it was 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 a hectic scene that day